Hi, I'm Eric Summerer, and here's what's coming from the Dice Tower this week. Hi, this is Tom Vassell, and welcome to the Dice Tower Network News for October 2nd to 9th, 2011. All right, there's a lot of things. The big news, I guess, is that we got Dicetowernetwork.com. That allows you to go and check out all the podcasts. You're probably watching this via video, and we have a lot of great videos and reviews that you can watch, but there's a lot of great audio podcasts, too. This week, we're re-releasing episode 28 of the Classic Dice Tower, in which Joe talks about his top 10 Pacific theater games, and I talk about my top 10 games that involve surprise attacks. We also answer a pile of user questions. This is back from 2005. We're re-releasing, we're releasing a new episode, 227, in which we talk about themes in games that are make them a must-buy for us or a deal-breaker. We go over lots of news and talk about some games like Eminent Domain, Clippers, and Belfort. Keep an eye on the Plat Hat podcast where they'll be talking. They just did a podcast on how the board game production process works. And then this week they'll also be talking about marketing with some listener feedback. Uh, Ludology is going to be going over miniature gaming and talking about people who play uh, one game you know, devotedly all the time. And the How to Play episode is coming out where they will be going over Airlines Europe. It's actually coming out both as an audio and a video podcast uh, at the same time. On the video front right here, what can you expect to see? Well, you just missed or you can still go back and watch uh, our top 100 games of all time, numbers 91 through 100. But this week we'll be doing 81 to 90 from myself, Melody Vassal, and you. Reviews that you can expect to see this week, you'll see Gubs, Hibernia, History's Mysteries from Ryan Metzler, uh, Caballo from Beth Hiley, and Breakthrough Cambria from Joe Stedman. Some big reviews coming out, not just Gubs and Killer Bunnies and the Ultimate Odyssey, but we're going to see Eaten by Zombies from Mayday Games, and then the big review many people have been asking me for, and that's Gears of War. You may be surprised at my conclusions. And then if we're lucky, at the end of the week, I'll be going to a teacher's convention in Orlando and giving a presentation on how to use board games effectively in the classroom, and I'm going to try to get video of that and put that up on this feed also. Well, that's the news. I hope you enjoy it. There's also some big news coming out about the Jack Vassal Memorial Foundation. We will be starting a, an auction for this in one month's time, so keep your eyes peeled for that. See you next week. Find all this and more at Dicetower.com. See you soon.